going to have a special kind of turtle called the Hikati. Harold is one of them. He lives in Rio Grande. He has a wife named Alia who just laid baby eggs. Right now, they feel threatened by a curious crocodile named Quinn who lives in the river as well. The curious crocodile likes to hide out in bush and watch Harold and Alia. On one sunny morning, ha ha, they are left. It's, it's time I took a closer look at where those baby turtle eggs are. Surely Mama Hikiti will come and check on them. Around the river bend, the Ted rangers were all doing their usual patrol. You know, Javon, there are lesser turtles now since people are over hunting them. Yes, I've learned we have to protect them from danger, whether it's pollution, erosion, predators, or humans, so that our grandchildren can see them in the future. Look, look! Hikati! Oh, cute it is! It looks like it's trying to hide, hide from something big! I think it's a curious crocodile. Crocodile prey on Hikati. Hey, there are two Hikitis! Wait! There, there is someone in Adori. It caught one of the Hikati. Maybe it wasn't trying to hide from a crocodile, but from us humans. Well, it is open season for Hikati hunting, so it's, it is okay. But community members can help protect the Hikati. They need to know that they can hunt them for food, but in moderation. Hikati are now critically endangered. The female Hikati that the rangers spotted earlier was now heading towards her eggs, which she laid on the river bank. She, she, as she got closer, she saw the crocodile. Mmm, I smell turtle eggs. This must be where Mama Hikiti laid them. I will wait here for that tasty turtle. Oh no, look at that curious crocodile by my eggs. What shall I do? Where is my husband? Help! As Alia is screaming, a butterfly comes close and listens to her cry for help. The butterfly quickly tells her butterfly friends what is happening. The butterfly is first to spread the message and they find a little bird and a big bird hanging out in a tree which is on the river bank, not too far from the crocodile. Hi birds, can you help Alia the Hikiti? Queen the crocodile is hanging out by her eggs, and she is scared he will hurt them or her. Harold is nowhere to be found. Oh no! How can we help them? I have an idea. This huge crocodile is hanging the way that might fall on the crocodile's head if we push it. Hopefully, this will teach the curious crocodile a lesson. <laughs> I think we need more help. Let me go find Mr. Snook. Mr. Snook also lives in the river. He is highly respected and very helpful. Mr. Snook, Mr. Snook. Yes, my dear. What is troubling you? We need your help. Queen the crocodile has found Aliyah's egg and it's waiting for her and Harold to come to the egg and eat them. Oh, that queen. With so many other things to eat, the, the Hecate is very special. We all need to do as much as possible to protect them. Although we need, a re although we need to respect the food chain and try to have a balanced ecosystem. Come, Mr. Snook, there is no time for this right now. We must try to save the Hikiti family. Oh, yes, dear. Let me round up some other fish. We will gather the eggs and take them away from where the crocodile is. But we need a distraction. Another butterfly appears saying that the birds are in position to drop the huge crocodile onto the crocodile's head. We are ready. So With your distraction, <laughs> Mr. Snook. Butterflies notified the birds of the plan. Mr. Snow fell out his fish and everyone was ready to take action. Quinn was still lingering in the same place, patiently waiting for Alia and Harold. All this time, Alia was hiding near the bush and still there was no sign of Harold. She was very scared and sad in thinking that someone may have happened to him or her egg. A butterfly fluttered over to Alia and informed her of the plan. We are ready when you are. Thank you so much. Here goes. Hey, you queen, get away from my eggs. I know it's me you're after. Leave them alone. Quinn started to smile when he heard Aliyah. He thought after all of his waiting, he would finally.
will be eating some tasty turtle. Now that Queen had, now that Alia had gained the, the crocodile's attention, the bird started pushing the big crocodile. Down it went. Boom! It jumped right onto Queen's head. He passed out from the heat and lay motionless on the ground. The loud cross signal, Mr. Snook and the fish swim over and gather the turtle eggs. Alia swam closer and started looking for her eggs. They are right here. Don't worry, Alia. Oh, thank you, Mr. Snook, for saving my eggs. Now let's find somewhere safe to keep them. Look, there are some third rangers. They will take care of them for you until it is time for them to hatch. The rangers arrived just in time. This time joined by Nicholas, who was a hikati expert. Queen was still asleep on the riverbank from the heat on the head. And, and the fish was with Alia holding all of the eggs. Sadly, there was no sign of Harold. It's look like it's look like it looks like something is going on there. Straight ahead. Is that a hickety with some fish? What are they holding? Careful. I see a crocodile laying on the river bank. Although it looks sleepy or hurt, it almost looks like it got hit on the head with that huge coconut. Ah, maybe the bird threw the coconut down, you never know. As the rangers approached the animals, it was clear that something had happened. Alia quickly swam up to the boat and began tossing her eggs up, hoping the rangers would catch them and take them to a safe place. Amazing! The female hikiti is giving her her eggs. Clearly, she knows we will protect them for her. But, but where is her husband? I usually see them together. Earlier today, we saw a man in a door catch a male hikati. Maybe that was he. Did he have a yellow head and a googly eye? Yes, it was him. Maybe it's not too late to find him and release him back into the river. Let's do it. It's important to try to keep Hikiti families together. They are critically endangered. The rangers left with the eight Hikati eggs in search of the dory that may have caught Harold. Soon after, they spotted the dory and the man. He was on a riverbank cleaning fish. Nicholas approached the man and asked him if he had seen Harold. The man had Harold and gladly returned him to the ranger. Now that he knew Harold and Alia were expecting eight baby Hikati. The rangers thanked him for hunting responsibly and for contributing to the protection of the species. The rangers returned to find the snook, other fish, butterflies, birds, and even a ladybug, all, comfort all comforting Alia after such a hectic day. As they approached the group, Harold's googly eye opened up with excitement. There you go, Mr. Hikati. Back home with your family. We'll see you soon. And don't worry, we'll take care of your eggs. Alia and the group were all very relieved to see Harold. Mr. S Mr. Snook updated him on the day's events. Wow! I love you, honey. You are a really strong lady to chase away that queen. We have such beautiful eggs. I can't wait to let them hatch in a safe environment. It was teamwork. I couldn't have done it alone. Our community cared for us, including those rangers. Harold and Alia hug each other, and although they no longer had their eggs, they swam away feeling happy, knowing that the eggs would be safe. A few months later, they, they, their eggs hatched, hatched and the red. The ten rangers released them back into the Rio Grande. Harold, Alia, and their eight baby babies live happily ever after. Thank you.